Hello and welcome to the Channels Book Club. I am Olakunle Kasumo. How do you change a country or a society? Some say it's by catching them young, and I agree. Right now I'm in Hastings, a small, quiet coastal town in the southeast of England. It's located just a few kilometers away from London. It has been home to 12 amazing young Nigerians. What's their story? The wife of the governor of Ogun State, Mrs. Olufon Shuamoso, has a vision to educate young Nigerians on how to go green and sustain the environment. Therefore, she teamed up with Channels Television to organize the first national green essay competition. The procedure was clear. Get this book titled Green Education for the Youth, otherwise called GEFTI, written by Mrs. Olufunsho Amosun. Read it and write an essay to review it. After tough sessions, three distinguished judges picked these 12 amazing young Nigerians as the winners. Their reward, a trip to the United Kingdom to learn about how to go green and sustain environment, which are major global issues today. In this episode and in the next one, we'll show you the experiences of these 12 young Nigerians. Enjoy it. When the first national green essay competition was held, every participant who threw his hat in the ring stood a chance but only 12 eventually emerged as the Gefti ambassadors. They came from the six geopolitical zones in Nigeria. The vision was clearly spelt out that day in Abelkuta after the 12 winners emerged. <laughs> The objective of this whole competition has been to get the Nigerian child to understand the basics of going green. The competition came about because we realized that we had to give the children an incentive to encourage them to read the book. So it is, in my opinion, I believe that we have been able to encourage the Nigerian children to read the Gefti book and take on board the basics of going green. If there was ever a green education trip, this was it. The ambassadors arrived safely in England and were welcomed by the sponsor, wife of the Yogun State Governor, Mrs. Olufunsho Amosun. Boxwood School, Hastings, England, was the British partner and host. Boxwood School has gained a reputation across England as an institution with a high sustainable energy compliance. The ambassadors were there to see things for themselves. The sun travels from there around this way, so, so they have maximum exposure. Lawrence Walker has worked as an architect for Boxwood School for about 10 years. He tells the ambassadors about the school's buyers for going green and takes them on a tour of the facilities on the school's campus. This is the original wall on the estate. 
So it's been breached in places and it's been supported, but the idea is to retain all the old features, which are specially designed to, to be burnt in this boiler. Okay. Um, they, are, they come through on, on a little conveyor, which is that machine there. Right, through that. Yep. Through the aluminium machine or through this pipe? No, through, through that pipe there. Through yeah, they, they're fed through there into the right. boiler where they're, they're burned in here. Right. And, <coughs> and on the, on the left-hand end, right. you've got the storage for hot water. Here, so, so right here. No, the far all end the there. there. Yep. Okay, so That's that the hot water storage. Okay. And as required, it's drawn off there. It goes underground and into the various buildings on the estate, on the school.